Hello, brethren. Uh, I'm sitting here um, at a church building, to uh, tell you the truth. See that? I'm at uh, St. John's Evangelical Lutheran Church, uh, which was sanctified by the Missouri Snod. Um, this is kind of an update. Uh, my wife and I have moved now to our apartment, um, which has been very trying. Uh, very trying, very, very, very trying in many ways. But we did it. Uh, thank you all for your prayers and uh, thank you for all of you who have um, kept us in prayer and what whatnot. Uh, it's just been it's been a blessing. It's also been very challenging. And um, now it's um, now just got to find work to uh, pay for all of this. Uh, the interesting thing is that um, it's a thousand bucks a month where I live, the apartment, uh, for a two bedroom apartment and two bathroom. And I don't know how it is for y'all uh, in uh, where you are, but finding work today is very difficult. See, around here, um, because of the COVID-19 propaganda and all that nonsense and stupidity, uh, people do not pass out paper applications. You have to do everything online now, which is very challenging in and of itself uh, because you don't get to speak to an actual person, a spirit, soul, and body. But, um, so if you will, please keep me in prayer for work to come. Uh, I am, I am looking because, um, where, uh, where we live, um, Silver Creek Apartments, it was a, um, the first month is free, uh, the month of August, which begins tomorrow, and then we were able to, um, we have September covered, but after that, uh, <laughs> and of course there's no water nor gas or uh, garbage disposal, but everything is electric where we live, so uh, praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. He will provide. But um, So keep us in prayer. And also, too, brethren, I want to take this time for all of you, the body of Christ, to... Um, to keep our, our brother Alexander Hartley in prayer. He's going through a very similar thing like I am, and um, he has to be out by the 10th. And uh, so, brethren, please keep brother Alexander Hartley in prayer. Um, but I wanna read from, uh, from the authorized version of the scriptures, the King James scriptures, very quickly. Um, 1 Corinthians chapter nine. 1 Corinthians chapter 9, verses 16 on to verse 18. 1 Corinthians chapter 9, verses 16 on to verse 18. Get your authorized version of the scriptures, the King James scriptures, the true and real scriptures, and go there. 1 Corinthians 9, verses 16 on to verse 18. For though I preach the gospel, I have nothing to glory of. For necessity is laid upon me, yea, woe is unto me if I preach not the gospel. For if I do this thing willingly, I have a reward. But if against my will a dispensation of the gospel is committed unto me, what is my reward then? Verily that when I preach the gospel, I may make the gospel of Christ without charge, that I abuse not my power in the gospel. And what was that power that Paul had? 1 Corinthians chapter 9, verses 1 on to verse 5. Am I not an apostle? Am I not free? Have I not seen Jesus Christ our Lord? Are not ye my work in the Lord? If I be not an apostle unto others, yet doubtless I am to you. For the seal of mine apostleship are ye in the Lord. Mine answer to them that do examine me is this. Have we not power to eat and to drink? 
Have we not power to lead about a sister, a wife, as well as other apostles, and as the brethren of the Lord and Kephas? Or I only a Barnabas, have we not power to forbear working? I know I said to verse 5, but let's continue. Who goeth a warfare any time at his own charges? Who planteth a vineyard and eateth not the fruit thereof? Or who feedeth the flock and eateth not of the milk of the flock? Say I these things as a man, or saith not the law the same also? For it is written in the law of Moses, Thou shalt not muzzle the mouth of the ox that treadeth out the corn. Doth God take care for oxen, or saith he it altogether for our sakes? For our sakes, no doubt, this is written, that he that ploweth should plow in hope, and he that thresheth in hope should be partaker of this hope, of his hope. If we have sown unto you spiritual things, is it a great thing if we shall reap your carnal things? Yeah, see, the bell tower here. <laughs> if others be partakers of this power over you, are not we rather? Nevertheless, we have not used this power, but suffer all things, lest we should hinder the gospel of Christ. Do ye not know that they which minister about holy things live with the things of the temple? And they which wait at the altar are partakers with the altar? Even so hath the Lord ordained that they which preach the gospel should live of the gospel. But I have used none of these things. See, again, like I addressed in my last video, Paul chose not to use these things to set an, an example. Because remember, the gospel was first being um, spread abroad at this time. It's important to remember that. But I have used none of these things. Neither have I written these things that I should that it should be done so unto me. For it were better for me to die than that any man should make my glory void. So I've been struggling with uh, brethren quite often full-time ministry. I've been struggling with it. The Lord the Lord um, with very little doubt would have me to be in full-time ministry. And um, not forbearing working because I got to work. Uh, but just trying to find a job, especially in these times right here, especially in Illinois, no paper applications. I'm online uh, almost daily trying to uh, submit my applications to wherever I can. I, I go through Indeed. But also, too, we only have one vehicle. <laughs> and uh, traveling is just uh, very challenging. But um, I'm still still praying about it of course but the evidence is there that the Lord would have me to be in full-time ministry so with that said keep me in your prayers please brethren <laughs> um, please keep me in your prayers and um, keep us in uh, your prayers as we pray for many of you you know Brother Alexander, uh, Brother Alan Allen, uh, Brother Jeff Jones, Brother Philip Newton, Brother Brian, his sister, his wife, our sister Catherine, and their son Oliver, Jacob Thompson, Victor Manesia, uh, Brother Frederick Noon, uh, the blessed, beloved Justin Laird, Matthew Melanson. And brethren, by the way, when it comes to Brother Matthew Melanson, uh, who makes the best tracks out there, in my opinion, uh, remember, brethren, that man, that our brother, Matthew Melanson, uh, suffers with pain daily. Daily. So please, brethren, you might not know of him, but Matthew Melanson, uh, please keep him in your prayers. The, the, our poor brother, uh, who is blessed, struggles with pain on a daily basis like you and I could not possibly imagine. 
and also you know for uh, uh, Jeff Allen um, I already said the beloved uh, blessed brother uh, Justin Laird in Australia brother Mario in Croatia brother Sasha brother Matthew Green brother Matthew Landau um, uh, brother uh, Christopher Lappin who put up uh, brother Christopher Lappin put up a video of uh, uh, Eon Paisley's The Black Pope and His Murder Men. Check it out. That's a really good uh, uh, sermon. And also, too, um, trying to. Re oh, and of course, last but certainly not least, our beloved brother, Aaron Judge. Uh, keep him in your prayers, brethren. Um, our brother, Aaron Judge, uh, also struggles daily with um, health issues and diabetes. Uh, please remember to keep him in your prayers. Um, there's another fine young man who, um, whether he wants to admit it or not, might be also being called into full-time ministry. Um, and uh, watch his stuff. Make sure you have your scriptures handy when you listen to his stuff. But um, yeah, we, we pray for so many of you. So many of you. And uh, Emma... We pray for Emma, too. There are just so many that we pray for of you, the body of Christ, our brothers and sisters. Um, and we do not forget you. Never. Never, ever, ever. But this is just kind of a little update video. Um, uh, I'm going to be getting back into doing videos. Uh, we've kind of now have ourselves kind of settled uh, with the move and... Uh, not everything is unpacked, but most things, so it's kind of uh, cozying down, uh, being cozy now, so we can get back to things. And also, like I said, trying to find work nowadays, man, Ooh, it's very, very difficult. Especially when you don't have a high school diploma, hi, or a good enough diploma, hi. And I refuse to do those things personally because I ain't getting nothing from the Jesuits. Uh-uh. <laughs> uh-uh. But uh, please keep us in your prayers as we keep all of you in our prayers. Uh, we love you and um, videos are going to start coming. Uh, I actually have been given quite a few requests for some videos and um, I have not forgotten. It's just been very busy and chaotic and he hectic of late. So anyway, brethren, uh, I love you. And on behalf of my wife, uh, she loves you too. We love you. Uh, keep us in your prayers, and we will see you in the next video, okay? Thank you very much, brethren. I love you. Bye-bye-bye-bye.